for a 100 slash 240 volt single phase three wire system in a commercial building what is the minimum service entrance conductor size for a 200 amp service using copper conductors and the correct answer is three yacht and for this one we're just going to head to our primary opacity table in the 2017 it's 310.15 b16 and in the 2020 and later it's table 310.16 we're going to start on the left hand side of the table for copper and then we're going to come to the 75 degree c column because we're 101 amps or greater in the absence of your question stating the terminal rating whether 60 75 or 90 you're always going to default to the 75 degree table when we are 101 amps or more and in this case, we're 200 amps. So we're going to head there and we're going to select a 3 aught copper conductor. At what number of current carrying conductors in a raceway must the opacity of the conductors be derated due to bundling adjustment? And the correct answer is four. And for this one, we're going to head over to one of my favorite tables. And depending on which code cycle you are in, we're going to be heading to either 310.15B3A in the 2017 and previous, or in the 2020 and later table 310.15C1. Exact same table, got a brand new name. And what this table is going to let us know is that when we there are more than three current carrying conductors in a raceway, the opacity must be derated due to bundling adjustment. So the derating starts at four conductors. What the code is saying is that when wires are bundled, like in a pipe, or if without maintaining spacing, even with zip ties, you must derate these conductors if there are more than three current carrying conductors. Now, this is a very large subject, and you can head over to electricalcodecoach.com, click on the free version, and check around weeks eight and nine, and it will take you through this very complex process very quickly and by the end of these two videos you will be a pro at ampacity breaker sizing and temperature corrections and bundling adjustments all for free that's electricalcodecoach.com you can check it out if you like to but the answer for today is for what is the correct method to determine the minimum ampacity for an industrial control panel supply conductor And the correct answer is 125% of the largest motor and heating loads plus 100% of all other loads. And for this one, we're just going to use our keyword and our index process. And if we do that and follow it out, it's going to lead us to 409.20. The correct method for determining the minimum ampacity of an industrial control panel supply conductor involves calculating 125% of the full load current of the highest rated motor plus 125% of the full load current of all heating loads and the sum of all full load current ratings of all other motors and apparatuses that may operate simultaneously and you can consider duty cycle. According to the NEC, our outdoor luminaries and associated equipment allowed to be supported by trees and the correct answer is yes they are permitted to be supported by trees let's imagine that we had this tree growing in our backyard the question is are we allowed to install luminaires right here in the tree and use them as support for it and the correct answer is yes and for this one, we are going to head to 410.36G. The NEC specifically permits outdoor luminaries and associated equi equipment to be supported by trees, recognizing it as a valid method of installation. So you are physically allowed to use the tree as the support for the luminaire. Now, there, there are a lot of things here that we have to watch out for because trees grow and trees rot and trees chop down. So this is not just a one and done install. This is something that could potentially take maintenance as the tree grows. And an interesting fact that you may not know is that they actually sell a bark colored MC cable. 
So you can actually run that cable right up the tree and you can attach your luminaire and enjoy illumination from that height. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it. When portions of a raceway or sleeve are subjected to different temperatures and condensation is a known issue, or where the raceway passes from the interior to the exterior of a building, what action must be taken to prevent the circulation of warm air to a colder section of the raceway or sleeve? And the correct answer is fill the raceway or sleeve with an approved material. Let's take a look at the paraphrase code language. We're in 300.7a, and it says if parts of a raceway or sleeve are exposed to varying temperatures and condensation is a concern, such as in cold storage areas or, and that's an important word here, or when transitioning from inside to outside of a building, the raceway or sleeve must be filled with, a, with an approved material to prevent warm air from circulating to a colder section. An explosion-proof seal is not necessary for this purpose. So you don't have to do an explosion-proof seal with some Chico, but what you do need to do is you need to fill that conduit. You need to seal it with an approved compound. Approved not only for what you're using it for and for the location, but also for the type of insulation of the wire that you're sealing around or if it is a bare conductor, whether that be duct, duct seal, an approved caulking type material, and or using something like an approved foam. And the importance of this is very simple. We want to keep that warm air from getting to the cooler sections, creating water, creating issues, creating rust, and other problems that may come with having this excess moisture in the conduit. And this is one of the codes that can be a misnomer in the field in the sense that I've always heard it that if you're going from air-conditioned space to not air-conditioned space. But that's not what the code says here. It specifically calls out if you're going from inside to outside of a building. The racewear sleeve must be filled with the approved material. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.